Yale books and science uh, are, are a great mix. They always have been, whether it's sort of super science to actual scientific principles. There's a long tradition of people using the graphic medium to illustrate topics that are, that are difficult. So in a way, comics and, and science fit together, I think, hand in glove. My name is Charles Soule. I am a writer of comic books and graphic novels. These days, I'm writing a number of series for Marvel and DC, which are the guys who do Superman and Spider-Man and all those fun books. But I also write a lot of stuff um, that are my own characters and my own stories. Strange Attractors is a book about New York City. It's hard to ignore how complex this city is, how all the systems of the city kind of fit together and somehow manage to work, even though they really shouldn't. The inspiring moment for the story was, was when I was thinking about what if someone was so brilliant they could actually understand all of the complexity in here in New York City and then use that to kind of create a model of it in their head and then change that model just a little bit to make the city do what he wanted it to do. I'm sort of a layman mathematician. When you really know what true mathematicians can do, it's, it's, it's humbling and awe-inspiring. I thought it would be nice to, to write a story where guys like that are, are the heroes. In order to be able to write that way effectively, I had to do a bunch of research on my own. So I got as many books as I could about you know, complexity theory, chaos theory, and kind of the way all that stuff works. The next big project, Letter 44, is about an incoming president who gets that secret letter from the outgoing president. And that letter says, hey man, this job is really tough. Good luck with it. By the way, we found aliens in the asteroid belt seven years ago. My goal in writing this series was to, to first pay tribute to astronauts who are like, they are true superheroes. It's, it's unbelievable the things that these guys are, are capable of, and it's, it's like no big deal, it's their job. Letter 44 was a series that I really wanted to make sure was as reasonably accurate as, I, as, as possible. I did a ton of reading about you know, the, the actual capabilities of the space program today, the things that are being developed in the private sector. You think you know how a rocket works. You think you know what it's like to be in space, but you really don't. I mean, I, you know, I, I spent a good afternoon investigating astronaut toilets, which was uh, you know, engaging. I had to look and see what, it, what it's like when you cry in space, what happens to your tears. It turns out they, they're like little globes uh, that kind of collect in, your, in the corners of your eyes. There's a lot of, of details about what it's like to actually be in a zero gravity environment. Just learning what those details would like to hopefully recreate it in a, in a legitimate way in the story. Uh, you know, I love it, I keep doing it. It's, it's fantastic.